With a 5-2 to two vote, the Wichita City Council today changed parts of its drug ordinances to remove penalties and prosecution for certain charges. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm David Scott. And I'm Deb Ferris. So what are these changes and what do they mean? Cakes Jackson Overstreet is here now to break it all down. Yeah, Deb, David, for the mayor and some members of the Wichita City Council, this move has a couple of different goals including reducing opiate overdose deaths and trying to lower the amount of people, specifically people of color getting drug charges over small amounts of marijuana. But some county officials say there will be ripple effects in their offices because of these changes. Have I received five yes votes to two no votes. The motion has passed. With that vote, the Wichita City Council made two changes to its drug ordinances. One is removing fentanyl test strips from being listed as drug paraphernalia. It's about personal responsibility, so allowing folks uh, to have access uh, to this tool to test it to see if, if it is actually something that's going to kill them. The other eliminates fines and penalties for small time marijuana possession. I'm a man of the people. My district voted overwhelmingly and the vote to decriminalize marijuana a few years ago, and I thought this was an appropriate continuation. The changes do not legalize either marijuana or test strips in the city of Wichita, but takes the city's municipal court out of the picture if someone is charged with possession. Our job is to utilize our resources to make our community safer, um, and I'd rather these resources be used to fight human trafficking, to fight uh, opioids, uh, fentanyl coming into our city, uh, and, and to help people. The change to marijuana laws was not universally supported on Tuesday. The city says it averages 750 to 850 minor charges a year. Now those would be prosecuted through the district court system under the new ordinance, adding extra pressure to a system already dealing with a backlog in cases. I'll just tell you, I'm not I have no ability to just simply absorb that, that many cases. Councilman Brian Fry says on top of those concerns, he felt like the policy was rushed. Just the fact that we're debating policy that the public didn't see until this morning is completely untransparent in my mind. Now again, we should reiterate that this does not make it legal to use test strips or marijuana in Wichita. Now there are still state and federal rules against both those. Now the ordinance has to go through a second reading next week before it is fully passed into law. In Studio Jackson Overstreet, Cake News on your side.